Namaste students hope you all fine myself saranya i am your social teacher today we'll continue the lesson the earth in the solar system we are going to see about moon now the moon our earth has only one satellite that is the moon so in our earth we call a uh, moon as a satellite we have only one its diameter is only one quarter that of earth so only one quarter of the earth the moon was it appears so big because it is nearer to our planet than other celestial bodies so it is very near to earth so it looks very big it is about 3 lakh 84400 kilometers away from us see it is very close to us but the kilometer is 3 lakh 84400 kilometers so it is very near now you can compare the distance of the earth from the sun and that from the moon so you can calculate children which is nearer the sun or moon you have to calculate that the moon moves around the earth in about 27 days it takes exactly the same time to complete one spin so we uh, already seen that all the planets will move around the sun but the moon moves around the earth so moon was a uh, moves around the earth about 27 days the same timing which was used to complete one spin as a result only one side of the moon is visible to us on the earth so from the earth we can see the moon but we can't see the whole moon only one side of the moon we can see the moon does not have condition favorable for life so we can't live there it uh, it will not suitable for us to live there it has mountains plains and depressions on it so it is like mountains and plains we can't live there see this picture the first picture is rocket launcher the second picture rocket falls back to the earth so the remaining things have fallen back the satellite enters the orbit that is the third picture this is how the rocket launch and the satellite enters will happen these cast shadows on the moon's surface look at the full moon and observe these shadows so this will help us to see the full moon and observe the sa- shadows so next we are going to see about asteroids do you know what is asteroids apart from the stars planets and satellites there are numerous tiny bodies we can't identify that that items which also move around the sun not only the planets stars satellites moving around the sun very tiny tiny objects also moving around it these bodies are called asteroids so what is asteroids tiny bodies numerous tiny bodies they are found between the orbit of mars and jupiter so it will be uh, between mars and jupiter the scientists are of the few that asteroids are parts of a planet which exploded many years back so asteroid also one type of planet many years back after that the planet was uh, blast out and it becomes a tiny tiny objects the scientists have researched about this
next metroids so we saw about asteroids now we are seeing metroids a small pieces of rocks which move around the sun are called metroids so what is asteroids tiny bodies what is metroids small pieces of rocks which is also moving around the sun sometimes this metroids come near the earth and tend to drop upon it during this process due to a friction with a hair they get heated up and burn so like this it will come near the earth after that in this portion in this process the friction of friction with the air it get heated and it burst out it cause a flash of light so see the picture like this it will cause a flash of light sometimes metro without being completely burn fall on the earth and creates oil so sometimes it will not burnt so it will come to the earth and it will make hole do you see a whitest board band like a white glowing path across the sky sky on a clear starry night so sometimes it will be like this like this picture right it is a cluster of millions of stars so that white and all a uh, millions of stars this band is the milky way galaxy our solar system is a part of the galaxy so where our solar system is located it is in the milky way galaxy in ancient india it was imagined to be a river of light flowing in the sky so in ancient days people were thinking that it is a river which was flowing in the sky thus it was named akshaganga a galaxy is a huge system of billions of stars and clouds of dust and gases so this galaxy is full of stars clouds and dust particles there are millions of such galaxies that make the universe only one universe one of the part of the universe is milky way galaxy like this millions of galaxies that makes universe it is difficult to imagine how big the universe is right scientists are still trying to find out more and more about it we are not certain about its size but we know that all of us you and i belong to this universe so we can't find how big the universe is but we are very tiny tiny particle in very much tiny particle in that universe right so see this picture one the outer ring was the universe and in the universe we are in milky way galaxy in milky way galaxy there is a solar system in that solar system there is one planet called earth in that earth we are the person so how big the circle is just imagine it how million million planet planets stars clouds galaxies and all around us we are very much tiny tiny particle in that so imagine how much big our universe is so next is question answers will just guess the answers otherwise i'll give you the notes answer the following questions briefly how does a planet differ from a star so just guess that how it differs differs from the planet 
from the star in the planet we are living we are able to live but in the star we cannot right so we'll see the answer difference between a planet and a star a planet does not have its own light and heat it div it drives its light from a star so we are getting light from the star meanwhile in a star side a star possesses its own heat and light again coming to a planet a planet is usually smaller than a stars so see our planet is very smaller than the star those but from seeing in the planet we saw the stars are how small it is but it is not a small it is very big than our planet so in the star side stars are very huge object compared to a planet in general so it's very big what is meant by a solar system what is a solar system it is a group of planets we'll see the answer the term solar system refers to the family of the sun the sun is a star around which eight planets among other celestial bodies revolve in orbits this whole system of bodies is called solar system the sun is the head of this system so usually in our family one head will be there like this in the solar family the sun is the head next name all the planets according to their distance from the sun the order is mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus neptune this is the order from the distance of the sun why is the earth called a unique planet because we are living in that right the earth is regarded as a unique planet because of the following reasons it is the only planet known to support life it has oxygen and water present in proportion that allow life to grow it also has a temperature range that supports life third one the proportion of water present is about two third of its surface of the earth when compared to land so simply uh, why the earth is a unique planet means it's a it's support to live, support for life it's we can live in this because it is had oxygen water every needs so it is called unique planet why do we see only one side of the moon always one revolution of the moon around the earth takes about 27 days instantly the moon's rotation about its own axis also takes nearly the same time one day of the moon is equal to 27 earth days so only one side of the moon can be seen from the earth so we can't see the other sides only one side we can see because it is equal to spin around it what is the universe the universe is the large unit in which we live it is collection of galaxies there is only one universe and everything that exists in this universe itself so only one universe is there in that universe everything is there like millions of galaxies and in the galaxies solar system like this many thing is there inside the universe next tick the correct answer a planet known as the earth's twin is jupiter saturn venus what is the answer
answer is venus venus is called as earth's twin which is the third nearest planet to the sun earth earth is the third nearest planet to the sun all the planets move around the sun in a echolocated path it is not a circle it is like echolocated path the pole star indicates the direction to the north so the pole star's indication to the north direction next asteroids are found between the orbit of mars and jupiter a group of dash forming a various patterns is called stars and constellations a huge system of stars is called galaxy dash is the coolest celestial body to our earth the moon sorry cool closest not coolest the moon is the closest celestial body to our earth dash is the third nearest planet to the sun the earth plants do not have their own heat and light okay students next this is your activity you have to do by yourself first one prepare a chart of solar system so make a chart of solar system you can do um, whatever creativity you can show in this solar system chart you can okay children it will be a unique one not like same thing usually we will draw a solar system like that i don't want it should be a creative thing okay students so do this activity and send it in the group okay children so the lesson got over read everything hope you understood will meet in the next video thank you students